Good afternoon everybody, my name is Wes Davies. Welcome back to my scooter journey around the island of Taiwan. I'm up here, I'm right at the north tip of Taiwan. I'm pretty well at the most northern tip you could possibly be on this island. So my plan today is to head down through Dan Shui, check that out, stop for a bite to eat, and keep driving all the way down to Sinchu, where I will spend my night tonight. All right, that was such a beautiful drive around the north coast of Taiwan. Now I have reached Windy Dan Shui, and I'm just gonna go check out the historical street, maybe grab some lunch, keep exploring a little bit before we head back on the road a little bit later this afternoon. All right, so I'm down here in beautiful, sunny, windy Dan Shui, and I'm just sort of walking up and down the promenade here. They've got a nice walkway along the pier, along the water that you can see behind me. And then on the other side, all these little interesting souvenir shops and snack shops. And I got something that I've heard about. I don't remember if I've ever tried it. It's these iron eggs. So I guess they are famous here in Dan Shui and they just kind of look brown and they're quite tough. I guess that's why they call them iron eggs. I'm gonna give one a shot. Just like a hard boiled egg, a little more rubbery and a little more sweet. That's not bad, good little snack. I might try to find one or two more things before I hop back on my bike. All right, not too much on the other side there. I think most things are closed. It's Wednesday afternoon. You know, it's, it's not a busy weekend time, but I've just cut one street up here and this street looks a lot more promising. It's almost got a night market vibe to it and uh, there's tons of shops up and down the street here as you can see. Ooh, it is sunny today. So I'm just gonna see if I can find one more snack and then I'll hop back on the road. All right, I found some absolutely delicious lunch. I found a tiny little hole in the wall Sichuan restaurant and she told me she's actually from China. She's from Sichuan province and I got this beef noodle soup dish that was just so perfect. The sauce was spicy and tangy from those Sichuan peppercorns, a little bit sour, strong flavor, and the beef was so tender and thinly sliced, perfectly well cooked, and then it had these thick, juicy, bouncy, chewy noodles. That was a real treat. I was not expecting to find an authentic Sichuan restaurant here in Den Shui. I'm actually really loving this little town. You can see it's quite historical as well. Lots of nice old buildings. This was one of the original ports of northern Taiwan. I think dating back hundreds of years, possibly to the Dutch colonial period of Taiwan. And it's just been really nice walking around here today, checking out these stores. That beef noodle soup made me really, really happy. And now I see my scooter. I'm gonna hop back on the road and head down to Sinchu. All right, I've officially made it to the west coast. Certainly, I can feel the difference. It's a lot more industrial on this side of Taiwan. A lot more heavy traffic, more trucks, uh, that kind of thing. You know, I can sort of feel the dust on my face a little bit more on this side of the island. And you can see there's this huge highway right behind me. It's very, very windy out here on the beach. And I think that's a power plant. Off in the distance, I can see some, some huge turbines spinning. And I'm just <laughs> checking out the ocean side here. Whoa. Uh, uneven ground with these rocks here, but it's finally nice to be on this side of Taiwan. I'm really happy because now every single kilometer that I drive is taking me closer to home. I really miss my apartment. I'm wondering how my plants are doing. It's been uh, actually two weeks. I left two weeks ago today, so uh, let's hope my plants are doing well. And uh, yikes, it sure is windy up here. Okay, I finally made it to my hotel. What a long drive today. Geelong, all the way to Den Shui, all the way down to Sinchu in one day. Uh, I left a little more than seven hours ago this morning uh, from Geelong City. So that was pretty crazy drive, lots of big trucks. This is what people were warning me about when they said be careful on those highways. You know, the East Coast is pretty relaxed, super beautiful, 
empty roads, but uh, coming down here, especially from Denshui to Sinshu, you're just on these big highways with trucks zooming past you. Don't worry, I was careful, as careful as I could be. I didn't drive quickly. Uh, and then I made it down here to Sinshu, just in time to watch the sun setting over that river. That was pretty beautiful. A sight for sore eyes, as they say. And now I'm just in my hotel room here. Not too bad. There is dirt all over my face, so I'm going to have a shower and then go meet some friends in a little bit. So I had a wonderful night last night. I met up with one of my subscribers, actually, Vicky, and her wonderful family, her husband, Charlie, and her two daughters, Jenny and Amy. And we just walked around Sinshu. They took me to this really tasty duck restaurant. We had this delicious duck noodle soup dish. It was uh, just full of these big chunky pieces of duck, nice thick noodles. And then there was a smoked duck dish on the side. And then also another side dish, which was duck liver in this delicious kind of tangy vinegar sauce. So then we walked around Sinchu a little bit. They showed me some of the local buildings, a lot of historical buildings like the one you can see right behind me. Some nice little alleys, some streets with little food restaurants. I mean, it was just a wonderful walk last night. And now I'm just finishing up my day here in Sinchu. I'm about to hop back on the road. You can see all my stuff is uh, piled onto my scooter. I'm gonna drive down to Taijong today, but I'm gonna make one more stop before I finish this video down in Miao Li. So, hop back on my scooter, hit the road, and I will talk to you guys in just a bit. All right, been on the road now for about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, and I'm deep into Miao Li County here, and it's been a wonderful drive, very peaceful, as soon as you get out of Sinchu, you just start going up and down these kind of quiet, rural roads. So I'm just gonna uh, take a little break here. After a while on the scooter, it does get a little bit uncomfortable as Taiwanese people will be the first ones to tell you. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the sounds of those, what I presume to be cicadas up in the trees, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go check out a place called the Broken Bridge. Just check out how beautiful this part of Taiwan is. I mean, this is reminiscent of some of the stuff I was seeing in Taidong and Hualien. I didn't quite realize that there were little secret valleys with rice fields and forests and mountains like this on the west coast. I'm sure there are many. It is just so serene up here. The trip is going well so far. I am starting to miss my apartment. I miss my plants. I miss my, my balcony view. I miss Kaohsiung. But it's certainly been a wonderful experience so far on my Huandao, my trip around Taiwan. So let's go find the Broken Bridge. Okay, we have arrived at the famous Broken Bridge here in Miao Li. This is called the Long Tong Bridge, and it was built, you know, more than a hundred years ago, uh, and it used to be part of a rail line that went all the way up central Taiwan. Unfortunately, it was damaged in 1935 during a very large earthquake that affected both Taichung and Miaoli counties, so it fell into disrepair and disuse. And then again, about 20 years ago, during the 921 earthquake, it was damaged again. You can see there's a huge chunk of it right over here that fell off this edge of the bridge. Uh, so over the years, it's just been kind of decimated by earthquakes, but that leaves it where it is now. It's kind of a stunning old structure, kind of a commemoration of old Taiwan. It's made out of these beautiful looking bricks, and now it's just a tourist attraction. People can come up here and just enjoy the sight of this very old bridge. So I think that is where I'm going to leave you today. It is time to head down to Taichung. Huge thank you to Vicky and her wonderful family for showing me around Sinchu last night. It was so great meeting them and trying all that delicious food. Once again, thank you all so much for watching my video. Thank you for following me on this tour that I make around Taiwan. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all 
very, very soon. Cheers. Se acabó Trata de festejar